welcome home. These words warm every heart when they are delivered with love and accompanied by action. They are words that those who fled unsafe countries and have come across the seas to our shores yearn to hear. Australia has a long tradition of generously resettling refugees and displaced people who have fled their home country because of war, conflict and violence. Many would maintain, and I believe correctly, that our Christian heritage is at the heart of the Aussie attitude of compassion, generosity and hospitality being extended to newcomers to our land. Jesus told his followers to love their neighbours and to welcome the stranger. And this is why ACL is so pleased to support the Welcome Home Project. So let me explain. Many of you watching this video will remember back in 2021 when a coalition of Australian Christians, churches, denominations and organisations from all states and perspectives united to call on our government to provide urgent action for the safety of desperate refugees in the midst of the crisis situation that was occurring in Afghanistan with the takeover by the Taliban. Now, the government responded and 16,500 additional humanitarian places were offered to people to, um, that were fleeing the violence to find safety on our shores for themselves and their families. So thank you to those who participated in that campaign. But it's from the seeds sown in that coalition of Australian Christians that the Welcome Home Project has emerged. Its goal is to mobilise and equip Christians to sponsor refugees to settle in Australia through the Australian government-funded CRISP program. Now, CRISP is an acronym for which stands for Community Refugee Integration and Settlement Pilot. It's a new community program that allows groups of volunteers to sponsor and settle refugees, providing practical hands-on support for the first 12 months after arriving in Australia. The program was brought in under the Liberal government in 2021, and it remains strongly supported by the current Labor government. Basically, its purpose is to equip everyday Australians to welcome refugees into their local community and help them from day one of their Australian journey. My husband and I have had the privilege of welcoming and assisting a number of refugee families over the years. The help we gave them with their first grocery shop expedition, finding their local school, introducing them to English classes and just showing them around the neighbourhood have been repaid over and over by their companionship. Their stories have enlarged our own understanding of the world and our ability to see through others' eyes. I trust that we've been a blessing to them. We certainly wanted to, but I can promise you through extending hospitality to these newcomers to our land, we have been blessed by them in immeasurable ways. Strangers have become friends and our lives have been enriched by these remarkable people. The vision of the Welcome Home Project is to catalyse a movement of churches across the nation that are living out the biblical mandate to welcome refugees by enabling them to find a home within a supportive community. This is a unique opportunity to demonstrate the tangible love of Jesus to a stranger. And it comes with government support. Now, sometimes it's hard to know where to start with reaching out to a stranger, particularly if their language is different to yours. There may be questions and even fears that we just don't know who to talk to about. What's so great about the Welcome Home Project is that there are people who will provide a clear pathway for you and for your church to get involved, along with a series of tools and resources specifically designed for Christians to mobilise their communities for good. It's an opportunity for the lives of Australian Christians and refugees as well to be mutually enriched and transformed by the gospel. Our generation is witnessing an unprecedented global refugee crisis. Millions are fleeing the impacts of war and persecution. And whilst we can't help all refugees, God calls us to help those we can. We have a mandate to care for the stranger and to demonstrate the tangible love of Jesus to those who need to hear the words, welcome home. I encourage you to follow the link below and on our website and seek God as to whether this is something he would have you participate in. God bless you.